If you're a one or two vehicle family, you know how important it is to keep those wheels rolling in good condition at the least possible cost. Imagine the challenge if you were in charge of dozens, even hundreds of vehicles. That job is getting easier thanks to a growing software company created in the corridor. Lynn County Secondary Road Department consists of 125 pieces of equipment that maintain 900 miles of paved and 300 miles of gravel roads. Track costs, like on the trucks, like cost per mile. The big equipment we do cost per hour. Tad Alexander is responsible for the fleet and keeping expenses in check. He uses a computer program called Collective Fleet to manage work and repair orders and keep track of inventory. With this software, we're able to reduce our parts inventory. The software is a product of this Cedar Rapids company. Collective Data has government, utility, construction, and transportation clients throughout the United States and beyond. We have a number of systems up in Canada, and we also have a couple implementations over in Africa as well. Like so many entrepreneurs, 40-year-old Juana started the company in a basement 18 years ago and did anything he could to make money. We built home-built computers for like accounting firms and churches and stuff like that. We created websites, you know, back when websites were just starting to, to emerge. During the course of those endeavors, Juanis wrote a simple vehicle maintenance program and soon discovered the complexities of fleet management. So he set out to create a system that could adapt to the various needs of different industries. Let's say the fire department could have a slightly different version of the software as public works, then everybody's happy. That's the secret to collective data success, the ability to configure customized software that either replaces existing programs or incorporates those already in use. Should go through. Right now, Alexander's shop inputs fuel inventory manually, but thanks to collective data, the process will soon be completely automated. So when the guys fuel up at the pumps out here, they'll have a key or a card, and then that data will get pulled into the collective data fleet programs. Whether it's fuel or GPS and location information or diagnostic codes within the vehicles, all that information, if, if it's available, can come into our system. Collective Data just released a web-based version of its software and has several more releases planned this year. The staff of 18 employees will be growing as well because the company is hiring.